Oh, I think she wants, she wanted to know, are there, um, it, it's not clear to her whether there are going to be more out-of-pocket field trips or not, and the whole stay-back option, whether that's still on the table or not, because she's having staffing issues with that, but, and I think she expressed that, but it wasn't really clear what the plan was. No, we actually had talked to her about that a couple weeks ago, and um, there's no more pay out of pocket field trips. This was the Fisher Cats was the only one. What about the indoor tent that you were going to invite the older kids to? Right, but that's that's, that's like a few people, yeah. so I think that's not quite as okay. No, but if I can put it on okay. there. Okay. Notepad, and I can um, send her a quick note. Just send her a note if you would. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and that's what, um, we have one more invoice that we need to get in for team camp. Okay. So, I have seen a lot of emails about stuff about field trips. If you can send me one email tomorrow about what you need checks for soon, because I'm on vacation next week, so, um, it well, needs to happen. Do you not have all of the POs? Or, or is I it have in addition purchase to orders, but am I sending deposits for these? Or can they send me invoices? Or am I supposed to call with a credit card? Or okay, that's are we really sure how many tickets on. we're ordering? Okay. Like all those things. Okay. So Kelly is taking the kids Monday to Hilltop. Hilltop. They will invoice. They will invoice. And we need to pay within 10 days, and that's fine. I'll pay it the following Monday. Okay. Fine, just get me an invoice. That because was an issue last year with that. It company, was because so let's it make sure that we are all on the same on page top of with it. them. Yes. yes. Yeah. And I didn't get the invoice right away last year this, or something. This year we got the invoice. Yeah, yeah, it was it was like yeah, I don't yeah. know what happened with that. It was so. at the beginning of the year, so we um, just want to make sure that I think someone dropped the ball there and here and uh, yeah, I don't know. Team, but so. Kelly, if you could make sure they yeah. If they can email it to me, then you don't have to walk around with a piece of paper and get me a piece of paper. They should be able to email it to me, I think. I don't mind bringing you a piece of paper. Well, and I'm always glad to see you, <laughs> but I just want to make, you know, paper is an opportunity to get lost and forgotten. Okay. So I think we need one for indoor scent as our last field, but I didn't know how many kids from Camp Raleigh are going to go, so I don't know. So will they invoice us? So if we don't know how many kids, can they invoice us? Because otherwise, there's no way to know how much money to write a check for. They said they would, so the top amount would be $525. We're but not going to have that many. They're going to, they need a minimum, $225. Well, I understand, but if we don't, so, so fine, but that doesn't help me know how much to write a check for. So they're saying their deposit needs to be two hundred and twenty five dollars. Okay, so can you in that email that you would please send me by the, like tomorrow midday, like how much am I sending them a deposit for? And then will they send me an invoice for the balance? Yes. That After would be the fact or does it have to be before, do you know? Um, I think Chad said he would do it after the fact. Okay. At there. Okay, okay, that's fine. So if All you right. could just outline what needs to happen over the next two to three weeks for money, that would be really helpful. Thank you. Because I'm going to be out of town the next time the select board meets. So if you could have that PO already for them to have signed on their next meeting, then we'll be good to go. Dad's there. When is that meeting? When is that? When is that? Um, August 7th. So you're meeting on the 5th, but not? On the 5th. But yeah. yeah. So you really probably want to have it signed July 22nd, that's your next meeting. I think so. Yeah. To so, give yourself time. So, the front office can give you a purchase order and you can drop a purchase order off with the front office. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did we figure out can you like with that? With, um, the coupon and stuff? We have not yet. Um, Whose responsibility is that? Have we opened our meeting and are they recorded? <laughs> <laughs> I believe he is, but maybe he's not. Vern, well, mm -hmm. are you recording? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, again, just you know, if you know how, if, if they need a deposit, I can send a deposit. That's easy. But you know, otherwise, um, we can I can call and put it on my credit card if 
you know, it's the day of or something and we know how many tickets it is. But they said know, we could show up with a check. They would accept a check. That's fine, but I need to know how much how the much check you? is when we don't write blank checks. No. Okay. no <laughs> we voted for the we voted for the top amount, but there's a discount ticket that Ready to get. But I want to be exact with checks. I don't want to write them for more than mm -hmm. we need to write them and then get mm -hmm. refunds and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So whose responsibility is that to figure this out? Are you working on it or is it the I've team emailed, director? I've emailed them and then handed it off to the team director. Okay. And like she's scheduled, um, because some of this was happening before she came on board. Mm -hmm. And so That's she's been good. doing all of the POs. Mm -hmm. Set for the last two or three weeks, I've handed that off to her okay. and let her do the piece. But like this kind of this one's tricky because we're not like last year when we went to Canopy, I just threw down my credit card mm -hmm. because we didn't want to use our coupon. So, so. But this is only team that's going. Yes. And how many do we have in team? Uh, for that week, it's nine. Although I just got a um, email from somebody they want to sign up for one of the kids for week five, so that would be. He's been out talking about seventy or something. Yeah, yeah. No, no, so no, we, no, yeah, no, so. Um, well, so can can so we think it's ten. So why don't we just go ahead and plan on ten, and then she, the Patty, can figure out the discounts for ten kids. I mean, so we we've got the money right, so they've already paid the tuition. Right. Yeah. Except for this one. That's so it's fine. Yeah. It's just about I don't want to pay for ten tickets until you have ten kids who have paid ten tickets, and we know that ten. People have confirmed that they're going. So yeah, you know, that's good for planning purposes, but you know, again, I can write a check for a deposit and they can invoice us later. Or um, depending on what the date of the field trip is, I can call ahead and give a credit card number once all of that's confirmed. We did our um, business event last year at Canopy, and I, I'm pretty sure that who was doing that did the deposit and then they invoiced hey, us. Hi. I'm pretty sure that's how that worked. We don't have enough kids to eat for like any type of group discount. It's we need pretty much twenty five. Oh, yeah. yeah. If we get to twenty five, they'll drop the ticket price down to twenty eight dollars yeah. per person. But that means we have to buy an extra fifteen tickets <laughs> to get the discount. And so just somehow we Yeah. And, um, and the part of that is, yeah, specific about. What when is that feeling? Okay, so you, we have a purchase order for that, right? Yeah. It's already been through okay. the went through Monday night. All right, so, so that's great. That, that was the, the big full part. amount, or was that the discount? That amount? was a full, the full amount for nine. Which, so you're close enough that's for nine. discounted for ten, I would say. So you, you're only going to write the check for the, for however the discounted people, amount for the number that actually uh, go. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, if you would just communicate with me what you need for money when you know how many kids are going. And does that include the chaperones? I mean, the director and whoever adults are going? What we put in for, yes. Okay. Yeah, we added um, one more for her. Okay. So we put in for 10 Because you pay their fees, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, may, so is somebody keeping track of a spreadsheet of how many people are going and whether or not they've confirmed they're going and whether or not they've paid? Everybody's paid. For can be. Yes. Team they all pay all the tuition. Oh, team can yes. 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 <laughs> But I am keeping a spreadsheet.
I was like, oh, darn it, I forgot again. <laughs> and then you get your Wi-Fi out the parking lot. <laughs> Ten lashes for you. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> to merits, to merits. Um, so, but for indoor ascent, since that's a pay separately item, we're going to need a spreadsheet for that with who said they wanted to go and whether or not they paid. Indoor ascent. Um, so that is spreadsheet, like. Um, so that would only that would only be for any Camp Rally kids that we're opening it up for because it's paid for team. Yes. So we, okay. we only have, so we have five kids right now, one, two, three, four, five for that week. So we have five who have already paid. And that's kind of a cool, like if you market it that way, like it's kind of a cool opportunity for older kids to try out teen camp and, you know, mm -hmm. be with older mm -hmm. kids and see if they like it and consider that for the next year as they age out. You know. and as long as the, the parents of Raleigh kids know that this is an addition too, and they know they have to pay this. because I have not program. sent anything okay. out. Yet, because I wanted to get the permission to do it. Well, and should it be the team director that does that? That sends out um, the notice to oh no, the Camp Rally kids? I'm just trying to figure out who's responsible for that. So I, I, think, I, think, go ahead. I was just going to say it is important that we, you know, like um, determine responsibility for everything so that we know who the point person is. And I'm thinking the two directors working together, if the team sent it to Melanie. And said, "This is an opportunity that we're yeah. extending out. Please see, make sure that people get notice of it, and if they want to go, they need to have a yeah. deadline, and let her be the responsible party." I, th I agree with that, but I think deadlines are or also say, uh, important. Or you know, say, it could be the assistant director. She can delegate. You know, she can yeah. delegate, but keeping it within. Let them they handle it. Run the program themselves. I mean, we can help, but they should be running it I themselves agree. and get and working together. Okay, I'm going to head out. Okay. Um, if you all. Um, Need me? You can text me. There's a good. Ch I, I don't know how long you'll be, but I'll check in on you. We're still meeting when. Wait, when you can't leave me without my phone. So I'll get it. Uh, in. When, when I'll be for you. Um, you have your keys. In the glass. Can you get it there? Um, I'll unlock my. I'll unlock the office door. So you can just walk in. Five slots open. I mean, open. So yeah, the five slots would be open. Did um, did that. She asked me that for those last two weeks that she hasn't paid yet, right? So, yes. but I do, her deadline is still a week or two away. Oh, really? Okay. I gave her a month to pay. Okay. So, the deadline hasn't passed. So, the communication about the indoor ascent, who wants to communicate to um, the two directors that they should be talking about this? Okay. I was just looking, we talked about it at our last meeting. But I kids. Well, we, we're starting with this, with the older kids. So we're, we're starting with the seventh and eighth graders, mm -hmm. is my understanding. Yeah. Uh, do we know, I don't do sports engine at all. How many kids do we have in the fifth through eighth group? So that's, so the, the fifth grade is actually, how about a little bit bigger than you would think? Let's go six, seven, and eight. How many kids do we have in the six, seven, and eight group? Um, do you have a rough kind of idea? Fourteen right now. In the fifth, going into the fifth. But not all of them are full summer campers. Okay, well, let's skip the, let's skip the fifth grade. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think we should have this. I think the, the initial email should go out to sixth, seventh, and eighth graders in Camp Raleigh. We only have one eighth grader, and she was only the first two weeks. Okay. So what, 6th and 7th grade? No, you're 6th and 7th grade. You've got, in the 8th grade, at least a dozen in there. I mean, I, I, I bet out of, I have a list out. So you have, have I'm going to steal a piece of paper. Can so we have a limit of how many can go? 30. Total. Yeah. So, so, we, so okay. we won't have that. So if we opened up to just 30, six not and including seven. check walls. So, six and, so if we do 6th and 7th grade, you think they're about 15? About in the eighth grader. Eighth grader but the eighth grader was, was, the eighth grader was only the first, the first two oh, weeks of camp. Sorry. Sorry so, maybe. So, so I say about 15. So 
So I say we open it up to that group and see how many. And what is the price of that city? So we have an idea of that used to be. And the bus is already paid for. And it's three hours. Okay. So it's, so here's the price of that. Three hours. So the initial charge of 15 bucks. Okay. So you want to give her a deadline too. And that's it, a cutoff date. Yeah. <laughs> no more after that. And then you got to worry about chaperones. So if you've got. Did they say what the ratio they wanted with chaperones? I can't go there. I'm, I'm not going to go They did not say, per se, but I don't think it's fair to send the team director by herself. No. They could spare say. one or two. Of but you have staff there, right? Well, that's why I'm wondering how many people they but, need. I mean, they're responsible for the children to do the event, mm -hmm. not our chaperones. We're okay. just responsible that they stay in the building. <laughs> well, well, is that true? I mean, well, there, there, there's been some, I, I, I've heard, though, over there that if you're doing a certain thing, you need people on the ground, a spotter. Yeah, so or like but a play. I don't know. I don't know. The mean. email, their staff. The email that I got from them said they teach the chaperones to lay, like to do the ropes, okay. and stay on the ground. So they do more than one chaperone. But well, if you've got ten, I mean, she could probably stay at least one. And For the family, right? the yeah. initial price is the, the base price of two hundred twenty-five dollars is for 10 kids in one chaperone. And then it goes down after that. Is that an all day? And is that a one day? It's, it's a three hour three time slot. And what day of the week is that? It's a Wednesday. Okay. And Patty is doing 9.30 to 12.30. That's her request. Okay. And her thought was to load up all the kids that are going, go over there, do it, then take the Camp Raleigh kids back. They can have lunch and hang out in the afternoon. And then the teen camp girls would go off and do their own thing in the afternoon. Okay. Okay, so you're saying that, I'm sorry, what was the total again and the amount? $225 is the minimum. Ten kids with one chaperone to open the building. Okay, so we have nine in one chaperone with teen. Or no, eight. we only have five right now. Oh, five. So that's for that week. So why so are we trying to go above the ten then? Because we only have five, and they won't do it. You know, but if you get five from Raleigh and five, then then it's 225 in one chaperone, and then you don't have to worry about releasing any more chaperones. Yeah, I was thinking um, first maybe first come first serve. Right. Maybe yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Or, yeah. They will go up to 30. Um, but then you have supply. You have to supply support staff, right? Can you let's, get that confirmed? Let's double check that. Can you get that confirmed? Because if we have to, we cannot, if we had a full house in Raleigh, it would be not easy staff to release. over 10. So let's confirm that. A staff member. He is good about getting back to us. Yeah, I would get that confirmed, but I would only open up to what is the difference between the max and, and Patty, Patty <laughs> would be your chaperone with ten children. Five fifteen and then five first five that sign up. Um, so Kelly, yeah. if I could ask you when you talk to the directors and they give you a list of kids that are coming. Um, are we invoicing them through sports engine so we have a record of it? Oh, yeah, I would say we do. I didn't understand the question. She's asking if we get maybe five Camp Raleigh confirmed, yeah. do we invoice that amount through a sports engine? We send an invoice through our computer. To the parents? To the yeah. parents. For the, for the 10 or whatever amount it is for them for the to do it. $15. $15. Oh, yeah. And so then we then should. Yeah. And, um, but then there's a fee for it, right? But yeah, a lot of people they just it's not that they send it in or they'll drop it off or something. And 
with what we found with the Fisher Cats is that a lot of the money has gone to Camp Raleigh, and um, now there is like maybe an extra step of confirming that it was received because the information has not made it here. So well, the other thing you can do with the invoice too is you clearly indicate if you're going to drop it off at camp. If that's the, the method you choose, then clearly outline what it's for on the check. Yep, and, and it checks board. only. Yeah. It can make it so it's checks only, and then it's it does it's not. Checks it's easier to determine in the memo what it's for, and the cash. And Caroline said that they could drop it off here, and that might be preferable. Is that she's she not going to be here? So so it's just. I think a voyage. Is it next week they're going to do it? No, this is in July. Oh, okay, then she'll be here. Sorry. So that when we send out the invoices, mm -hmm. we can say either pay online or drop your payment off at town hall. And then the camp staff doesn't have to deal with even more payment. Okay. If that makes sense. But just make sure that, yeah, make sure that she knows that you're going to do that. Okay. I will check in with her. So which one do we want to hit first? We've got CPR, CNJ, and old. Well, we want to go to the old rail. So do CPR so I can collect my classes. Yeah, there's a problem. You have three people that need to take it, and um, nobody can do it, according to Melanie, which is a problem. It's part of their contract. It's part of their job description. So I know we um, talked uh, before about now we have to do their own expense, right? Well, this is free. The fire department is doing it again. It's a Monday night. It's not on the weekend. Mm -hmm. It's a Monday night. They're calling in New York ambulance to come and do it for them because Sean couldn't do it. Um, I mean, they took this all this time to get it going, and someone said, well, I wish we had two weeks' notice. And it's like, okay, well, you did have two weeks' notice for Monday. I found out Monday night. So I told you Tuesday. That was two weeks' notice. I mean, because they have jobs at night, I guess. Right. So, I mean, that's what I heard. Yeah. Well, it's so either way, they've they got to get it done somehow. Well, I mean, by the time they hook up, to it, the camp's going to be over. Yeah. So, um, I know, I think there's only one that's coming. I don't know who it is. Um, but so I know, I know um, one of them is on vacation that week, and she asked for that. Like, Is that the one that got hired and said that, no. that this one was, this uh, they, she had a vacation she had to do? Because I thought vacations were no... A no, no. No, that's not true for counselors. Counselors are, are allowed to go on vacation. Okay. All right. So it was, was like a, but yeah, I know we said in the beginning as long as it was a minimum, I mean, not like a full, complete week or. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. hers was like two days on Thursday. She's going to be on Thursday, Friday. Always oh, have one, one, one day. Week, and then, and then, yeah. 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 Okay. So. Um, but so. I motion to change that for next year. <laughs> it seems like we keep having this happening. Well, it's yeah. Going. So I'm concerned because they're not abiding by their contract um, that they, you know, a job that they applied for and they said they needed to have it. Um, why don't, I'm trying to think how to best attack that. And the other question was, do they get paid to do it? And the other group did not get paid to do it, as far as I know, when they went on a Saturday morning. I thought they did. It's not confirmed. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to ask Caroline well, then because from their payroll it didn't look like that they. I didn't think. I didn't think. Did. I don't think we've ever. I thought that I there thought was an hour. Had, there was like one hour that they got paid for that was within the first. I don't even know what the hour was. Was it something? That, was it something for them when they were going over as a group? Maybe. Well, I think she. Uh, that might have been the training on Wednesday night. Maybe that they that she she can yeah. yeah yeah that's what I'm thinking. Well, what about the set of time that they did on that Sunday before? See, I thought that's what we paid them for. I thought we paid them for training and set up time. And I mean CPR would be training. Yeah, they paid for what they were. Yeah. So we have money. In but if I said yes, we'll pay you. Are you going to come? <laughs> you come if I pay you, but if they can't come if I don't. I mean, what does that say to me? Yeah. Well, and they, and they, they blew it off the first time, yeah. so the, I except guess for one. One one was an excused absence. Yeah. One was not. And, so and then one was an added hire, I think, after the fact. I think the one that was on vacation wasn't hired at the first one, so I'll give them that. But 
So, so actually, speaking of, no, because we may need it. Well, so here what happens, this is what happens to me at work. So if I'm being told I need to take a code of conduct or I'm taking any sort of other certifications and I get my reminders and it's coming close and I don't do it, I am going to get my hand slapped, my manager's going to talk to me, it's going to be copied, mm -hmm. and it's a possible mark on my record. Mm -hmm. They're not going to fire me over it. Depending what it is. Depending on what it yep, is. Yep, 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 um, exactly. But if I don't, like I just had to do one today, mm -hmm. yeah, over more legal, legal stuff. Yep. Um, but if I didn't do it, mm -hmm. then I'd be spoken to, so it's almost like a... Um, I guess in my mind, I'm thinking if, if this is something that they can't attend and we give them one more extra week to do it, maybe at their expense now, what are we going to do if they don't do it anyways? It's not like they didn't know about it, though. I mean, yeah. everyone, I mean, was everyone was notified on the first one, mm -hmm. except there, I think there was one person that was hired after the fact. No, that's not her. That's not her? No, Someone was hired after the fact. The new hire is... According to her, so if I'm sorry. Did you get email that you sent with little names in it? The, the people that. Um, the I fly back it. from Melanie, there was the names of them. Okay. Do you have that? I can send it to you when I, I get home. I know I what they do. Okay. I just can't get into my. So the other thing is that one of them had um, had it, but didn't have it. Has a certification of some sort, mm -hmm. but, and he's not sure exactly what that is. Wilderness, yeah, first aid, something or other. The Bear Club. I don't know. I don't it's know. Not like Bear Club. Yeah, um, and one of them had it last year in Summersworth, and the reason why they asked, if it, she asked if they got paid, is because Summersworth paid them to do it. But if she had it last year, it so I replied to that. I said, well, why are you saying that she doesn't have it? It's usually two years, two right? Two years. Right. They never got cards, so they can't prove it. And that happened to Melanie too. Because I think Melanie was part of the rec department last year or but something, right? But it should be in a system somewhere. Right. Just if they did it right. If they, right. The, 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 I'm talking about yeah, the people who did the program, right. not right. our people. Yeah, yeah. You right. know, so, you know, so technically she is, she's experienced in doing it, but she hasn't got the proof for it. So the owner, the ownership is on her because she should have insisted on getting her a little card. And there's somebody, one person within the three, that say that they went through it, but don't have the proof. Yes, one okay. of them. And she had it done in some of them, because she worked in the rec department in some of them last so year. On one, of the, one of the kids. And well, yeah, I mean, I think that yeah. you know that you're supposed to have a card proving that you have, you've been certified. That should have been you to get that from whoever. Okay. It did it. It's my, and it, as I say, Melanie, it happened to Melanie, too. She didn't get a card. So, so she went through it again. And with remind it. me, what's the date of this again? Twenty second of twenty second of July at six thirty, which is a Monday night. CPR and first aid. Well, that's. Is there anything in the contract that says they'll be terminated if they have they haven't nope. done that? Nope. That's something we learned. Yeah, about. You put that like an industry. For the courses I had to take, I had a chance. If I missed it. You got a reprimand, and then the next one was up to termination. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and then, like I said, they knew that they needed to do it, and they knew that we were working on getting it done. Um, and you know, Monday night, Mark came in and said, "This is what it's going to be." They could, Sean couldn't do it, so they had to get York to come in um, with their people, and they're going to do it. So, would they want to do it for one person? If one person well, we're going to have town employees participate as well because okay. we have some that need to do it. Fire station is also having some of their people to come in because they need to come in. Okay. So it's not, not a loss. Okay. However, they were doing it for us at the beginning, you know. Right. That's right, right, what right. got this going, but it's not going to be a um, waste of time. So we've got three. One is on vacation, and we mm -hmm. know doesn't have. She's I think that's the one that has it. No, she, no, that's no, because that's, um. Because I thought she had it last year. J.W. from. Yeah. Well, she, that's what she thinks. So I talked to her in person when she told me, oh, I'm going to be away. And I said, I think this card is good or something. I said, well, you know what? Dig through your stuff and mm -hmm. find it. Mm -hmm. So I, I, can, I can revisit her. Okay. And it then, sounds to me we got like three burdens of proof here. Yeah. We've got one who says she thinks she had it, so mm -hmm. they give us the proof. We've got one who says she didn't, and it's on the door. Mm -hmm. But it just doesn't have a card, and that's up to her to get it. And we've got the third that has the wilderness. Well, can you find it? 
find out if it's transferable or whatever. Yeah, if it turns out right. to. Alright, I'm, I'm going to send, yeah. Sorry, you're looking for basic CPR? Yep. Yep. And a, or AD, you know, just the CPR? Just basic the AD. Yeah. First aid and, and CPR. Though. The hospital, it was pointed out at the last um, meeting that the hospital does it on a regular basis. With fun. But you have to pay for it. Absolutely, yourself. and it's not cheap. Yeah. It's so it's, 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 a, it's a Sierra Club, and it's the wilderness one. Yeah. And that when I went through that, you had to take the basic first aid. Yeah. Uh, CPR. Okay. And then the wilderness one did advanced CPR, uh, advanced um, first aid. Okay. Because all of a sudden it's not you know trying to hold somebody oh, alive yeah. till that. You know, it's it's, 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 it's basic first aid. And CPR. But you're saying oh. it was CPR, right? If, if it's a, a Sahara yep. Club a wilderness one, it's, it's, it's more advanced than just the basic. Okay, so that person is covered if it's active That's still. It's I would here. say that we would accept that then. I mean, if it's... If it's a Sahara it's Club wilderness one. Seri but we Seri would need proof of that, right? Well, he has a card. I think... And I have the data. And I'll have the data. I think he told me he had a card in his car. They took the course. It's like, do you have a photocopy machine? Am I good copy? No, I'm coming down here and we'll make a copy of it. Okay. So we'll accept that for now. So we're only talking about two people who are not going to be fulfilling the requirements. Okay, so I think so we, we should be all covered here actually if this all is true, right? Because if um, well, the burden of proof is on them right. to prove it, but um, yeah. She's the one that had, is without both, but took it at some yeah, sure. So she wants to prove that. Right. Yeah. Now, who offered it? Who, who, who gave the course at Summersworth? I have no idea. I don't know if Melanie. I mean, if they was like the Red Cross or one of those groups, they, they, they keep records. They keep records, yeah. It could have been their ambulance company, too. It could have been, um, who's over in Summersworth? American. American. No. American Ambulance? No. Who's in Summersworth? It's, it's, on, it's on 108. No, it's oh. not there anymore. Oh. It's on 108. Um, is it out behind? I, I can picture the building. It's out behind the dance place, right? Yeah. Oh. Next, American, to, is it? next to um, the armory. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> well, before we get one or the other. Yeah. Can they just got sold. They're called a. Oh, oh, they just got sold. Are you doing all of them? Or? Oh, I was like, you didn't need to find your Do it. Oh, was it yeah, so Well, they got you just got out. out. Okay. So same people just to respond name. what you are able to do. Uh, <laughs> give her a dead, give her a dead line, too. Always give dead lines. Uh, <laughs> it's Lori. Bye, Monday. Hi, Lori. So, so we still have to come to the question, you know, what happens if they don't? What is the recourse? I think they get a write-up. I mean, at least something, I mean, we have to, I mean, we can't, well, let me, let me back up. We can certainly fire people. Then you're out of, then uh, you're out of, right. you're in trouble because right. you're not going to have your numbers. Right. Right. So is that a fireable offense? No, no but I think it's definitely a black mark. Cut. We're talking to the first day for sure. I think so, too. Um, I think, that. I think that everyone knew that that was a requirement. Um, they certainly need to have something written up and saying, Mr. Jeffrey, it's your chance of being rehired next year. So you should seek to get this done on your own time now mm -hmm. if you plan on joining us next year. Because I think it's too late for anybody to get it done yeah. from now to the end of the program. Yeah. But definitely a record. Uh, you uh, definitely need a record. Something in there in the record file. file. Yeah. yeah. I think they need to sign it. Yep. I agree. So that is the final progressive discipline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now, that reminds me, I'm not sure what that discipline policy is in the staff manual. Um, I don't know off the top of my head, but there certainly is something in there. Yeah. We've got some work done to do on some of those. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. 
But at least um, it's not let it go through the cracks or we should do something mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But I don't think it's a fire. A fire. We have enough people that can cover yeah. in the event that are so, and, and we just have to make sure that Melanie does not leave whoever doesn't have it or who ever can't prove they have it alone with a larger group of kids, but instead they have to have, they have to be with somebody who is certified. Yeah. I think she's done that for you. Like I think she's so talked too. to yep. you about yep. it. So. so we need to continue that even though, yeah. although the one that, if it matches what you've looked up and, you know, we can definitely um, honor that, I believe, because it sounds like it's even more than what they would get in a regular one, right? So can you, you did the yeah. access one, are you going to do? I just did the, um, the one without just CPR, who was on vacation. I just sent her and I said, D did you have a chance to find your card? Um, we talked about it the other day, let me know. So, and then I will follow up with the, the, uh, the wilderness? Yeah, I'll do that. So yours. So I'm on that. Sorry. Mom. Got it. So wilderness. can I just recap what we discussed? <laughs> so we're all on the same page. Um, there are mm. three camp staff that um, cannot make the new CPR date given, they say that they were not given enough notice. It was part of their contract, which they hired. That makes it an issue. Um, are they now, questions raised, are they now responsible for doing it themselves since they can't make the new training? And do they get paid for the CPR first aid training? Disciplinary action that needs to be taken or hands flat. Um, so, and is there anything in the policies? Um, and um, if not, um, it needs to be fixed for the future. Um, other valid certificates, um, certifications and past certifications without cards to prove it um, is where the problem lies. Um, and the CPR is scheduled, CPR first aid is scheduled for 7.22 at 6.30 p.m. Um, other places that people have done training are the Sierra Club and the hospital. Um, and we discussed we are willing to accept the Sierra Club Wilderness first aid card if they can prove it. Um, and one took it in summer fruit but has no proof and one took it through us last year but can't find proof. No, that's not correct. It wasn't through us. I, I have no, I, to be honest with you, I don't know who it was through. No, okay. it's the one that, that took it was the one in summer fruit. Well, there's Jane, nobody, but there's one other, there's another one that. It, is that an employee last year? Nobody told me that it was something they took through us and didn't have proof. Because I believe they did got our, parts Did our staff us. do the CPR training with you guys last I year? Think they I did. think they did. Yeah. Do you remember did. that one? I don't. Okay. So we're not sure if we're... And it wasn't, well, it wasn't with the fire department. What they do no, with the they, teachers at the, at the school? Yeah, we did it at, someone did it at the school, but I don't so remember, remember her. her. No. But that doesn't mean but that doesn't mean she wasn't there, right? One so has taken it right. in some as were, oh, but so somewhere, without. somewhere, because you paid for it. Yeah, we did pay for it. Yeah, I just don't remember who it was. No, what she's saying is if we paid if for Tana it, Rollins would pay for it. Yes, with that we paid the Raleigh school. funds. We oh. paid the school. Yeah. So Caroline so probably, but will she, will she have names? Right. No. Problem. What happened was we were supposed we were supposed to be. Yeah. We never got invoice for it. So we never paid it. So we never paid it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Try. So we. So we would know. I can ask Gail. She might remember. Cause no, because then she'll charge us for it. No, she, she finds out too late. It's too late. Statue. That year's gone. But she, she, you know, has lists of who did what where. So she might have that. I don't know. If she well, just well I'll just, yeah, I already asked the girl, so. I'm like, so I'll just let's take let's that out that crazy, we have. To figure it out. <laughs> um, one has taken it, um, but can't find proof. Right. Um, and then action to be taken, a letter or record with their signatures 
for their file for their file um, to do by next year. There's a disciplinary policy in the manual, but um, it's not a fireable offense for this year. Staff without proof need to be with certified staff. And Kelly is reaching out to the staff for guidance. Got it. So in here, there's five steps for discipline. It's verbal, of course. <laughs> and then the written. Oh, come on. The verbal, written, suspension without pay, probation, and termination. It's in here. Mm -hmm. And there's also reference to if you falsify any of your um, materials, like applications mm -hmm. or timesheets or anything like that. So we could, I mean, technically, if they don't have it, they say they do, they falsify the application. Mm -hmm. they, they didn't. I think they all wrote whatever year. Do you know, did everyone have it last year? I think so, yeah. Um, I, I think it was run last year because I, I believe we did the schools the last two years. So I don't know if everybody had both the no, last two years because we were flip-flopping. Right, because that's what we did. Right. So, it's not, so it was kind of like we had half staff to one and half staff to the other. So there was... Yeah, because she was there last year, right? She's been here all four years, so, so we, I would find it hard to believe. It. Right, she should. I bet she does. Yeah. So there's really unless no. unless she did this to this unless she did the CPR. Not last year, but the year yeah, before, and then it would be expired CPR. this year. Yeah. Right. So I'm assuming by the 18, when we meet again, we have all this cleared up. Yeah. Now in the high school, do they offer that as a class? I know they have EMT. It's a um, option. Which these children should be mm -hmm. participating in that. My son took it. Yeah, I thought they did. I know they have EMT. Well, she's in college. Yeah. She's in college. That one. Okay. The other ones, I don't know who they are. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, I mean, if you have to do a letter, you can also mention that. And, you know, you're on your own to find it before you apply for next year. and after school because they may be offering it. So do you even have to do that on Monday? Okay. So, because I'm thinking we should be swift about um, if they can't produce, we need to, so a written, we need to do a written that goes in the file. And Melanie needs to be able to be proactive about how she has her staff to, that they are not along with children for that reason. So whose responsibility should this be about, because um, we clearly don't have, the town might, does the town have a, um, like a template they use for any sort of disciplinary action? Yes. I don't know. I can ask the question. Yeah, that's kind of fine, because he's, I'm not sure who does HR. Does Caroline do HR mm -hmm. too? <laughs> Caroline does everything. Okay. Yeah. She I'll might have her. something. Yeah. Yeah. So let's call up on the 18th then. Okay, C and J came through with $1,500 donation. However, the way it was written to them was $750 for camp shirts because at that point we had only put in like $750 in shirts and $750 for the movie license because camp hadn't started and we were looking for a movie license projector and screen. They came back with, yes, we will pay you the $1,500 for both of these things. The question has been raised. We are now three weeks into camp season. How much are we going to use the movie license and that equipment? Do we want to move ahead with the movie license or reach back out to C&J and say, we're not going down that road 
So we will either not accept your $750 for the movie, or are we going down that road? Or are we going back and asking them, the t-shirts are more than we projected. Would you mind us using that seven, the whole amount for t-shirts? Do you think it matters if one versus the other? I don't know, but Caroline made a good point that we should not take money unless we're going to use it for the intended purpose. Mm -hmm. Which is mm -hmm. Well, uh, the question I'm asking about is if we, you know, if it's not necessarily split up 750, 750, is it still okay to do it that way? Like, is it okay to spend 300 on the movie license and 1200 on t-shirts? We're still doing what they ask. Well, yeah, that's okay. Okay, so <laughs> the movie license was a three month one? Mm -hmm. Yes, for okay. $300. Okay, so what is a six month one? Do you know? I don't. Okay, I have it. Okay, so if we didn't get the license this year, we can still buy the equipment and have it for next year. Right. And have the movie license and the budget. So you're going to have the ability to use that equipment for 2020. And you've done what you've said you're going to do. Can we keep that money? Can we keep that money? Um, Meaning, if we have any money that rolls over, no. Oh, we buy it. We buy it this year. Right? Oh, you're talking about? Okay, sorry. I'm no, I'm saying we saying. buy the equipment and right. the screen and everything that you need <laughs> right. to we run the movies and and, maybe and get your license over. next year. Right. Okay. Put it in the budget for, for next right. year. All right. But you're going to have your movie projector and stuff. So yeah. if and you're doing what you said you were going to do. But, but already shot one. Emily, lady. <laughs> and um, yes, yes. it was on the schedule for week one to show a movie, but mm -hmm. it was such a beautiful day and the kids were being active that they actually did not show a movie. No, that's fine with me. I just assumed that it had been done because mm -hmm. I've been at the loop. Well, it happened. Yeah, I just want to make sure. But you're, not, you're doing what you said you were going to do. So technically. So technically, and if you want to use the equipment that you have. And you know what? I had, and I'm trying to look to see if I screenshotted it. There was, there was something that came up on my Facebook loop. I wonder if I did. It was, the, it was an outdoor projector and screen that was awesome. It was like this. The blow, blow up thing. one? I don't think it was blow up. No, the one was, I saw was blow up. It was. Yeah, no, it was, wasn't blow up. But my it, it was boss quick. said it. She said it was amazing. It was a. It was a quick. You know, she did it in her backyard. And she it. It's too bright over there. I don't know if I screwed. See, the problem is this year you're going to have a problem because you're not going to be able to go in the gym. Uh, yeah. So and you're right. I don't. Even but there's know. a smart. I mean, we can use a smart board for this year. Oh, here. I did screenshot it. So mm -hmm. wide. I'll have to look at it. That's what mm -hmm. it's outdoor big screen for $209.95. And, and that's yeah. like Four with projector Four. with a 150 inch screen. 150 inch screen? Yeah. And it's through the hazel, hazel cloth. So I'll have to. Yeah, we kind of want to get decent. You know. But you're doing what you're saying you're going to do, and then... So that would mean that we're roughly $250 short on our t-shirts that's coming out of our budget. Well, but we've I made back some of that money, and it's included in the registration fee. Well, well that's if you wanted to mention them to them that because of the program is over half over, we'd like to buy the equipment, but the license we're going to defer to next year, can we use that money towards the t-shirts? Then you would be almost break even, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And their names are still all over it, so right. I don't think that that would not. But telling them that you're going to buy the equipment for future years, yeah. Um, and we'll do the license in our budget next year, and won't be asking for that every year. You know. It's, a, 
it depends on where you go, but it'll take a couple of weeks um, to get it here, depending on where you go. And they run. Not where I get them. Okay, then you'll have to send the contractor. Oh, yeah. Is that something you want to do, or do you want to test that out with somebody else? I've already got. David? Yeah, he's doing a hockey or something like that. So just like with the ice cream, well, not to say if we're going to defer it so can we use that money for the T-shirts, but we're not going to ask for it next year because we're going to budget it. Right. So. And they asked to see all the invoices, so they'll see that the T-shirts came in at more than what we expected. And the and they'll see that you bought your projector and speakers or whatever else that you had to buy screening or whatever. Um, so. so ask so if they will defer the license um, funds. They're not deferring the license funds, they're just using it for another, re another mm -hmm. redirecting. you're redirecting it. Good. Thank you. That's um, they will redirect the license funds to t-shirts um, and um, if the project um, and then equipment would be purchased they'll reallocate the leftovers after the purchase is done. They're, they're saying that they will buy the equipment and the license. Right. right. So, so, whatever, so whatever they don't spend on the equipment, we would put it to the T-shirts. Because you could get an upgraded model. I think you just need to explain it's been, the expense is sort of, it's just been real. It's not the same yeah. cause, but different. Yeah. The but buckets you know, are different. Yeah, you probably, <laughs> you know, depending on what you're looking at now, you might be able to get a better model with a few extra bucks that you have that you're not getting a license until yeah. the following year. So. License will not be asked for again. It will be budgeted <laughs> again. I always say you're not going to ask because you may have to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, license will be budgeted. You asked me for 1500 again. Yeah, yeah. Say we add a zero to the last one that they'll bring in on their recreation building. <laughs> so, um, for C and J, we reviewed the breakdown of what was asked, and we went over the options of what we could do, and we're deciding on if they will redirect the license funds to T-shirts. Um, it would be appreciated. Well, what's our invoice to you for the t-shirt? Appreciate it. Uh, it was nine hundred and something dollars, but I just picked up twenty five more that were not on there that we forgot to invoice. So yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I think you tell them right, mm -hmm. right off the bat that, you know, since we had this conversation, we we have spent a thousand, whatever it is, on t-shirts. We would like to use you know, the money that you're giving us for that invoice as well as the projector and screen. And she, or the balance would go to the projector yes. and screen. They Perfect. request a copy of the invoice. <coughs> so <coughs> Caroline will, Caroline's already gotten a copy of the invoice from the printer. And so Caroline and I have talked about, it came electronically, but I can forward it on to Bridget at CNJ. Okay. We, are, we are double checking the invoices to make sure that we weren't they're saying that they never build up for. We're double checking that, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and all of the shirts came in at six seventy-five, except for one of the staff asked for a two XL, mm -hmm. and that came mm -hmm. in at like seven or seven twenty-five. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, that was there. And so banner for C and J. And I'll send you my one. Okay. I can't think of it. I think it's Zazzle, Z A Z Z L E, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, 
really quick, really good quality. process or whatever so 
it may not be that what we did was wrong. Mm -hmm. It just it might be it might matched what their requirement was a little better. I mean, yeah. it's always yeah. a competition. So, I mean, but convenient MD, I mean, what, they don't have product to give to us. Well, band aids. <laughs> Well, CPR um, training. <laughs> but, like I saw their banner last year. They used to hang it outside on the Jenny Thompson pool. Yeah. So I was like, would you be willing to sponsor a camp that gets kids out and moving versus sitting around doing electronics all summer? And then three weeks later, I got an email from them saying, yes, we are interested. Please give me further information. And I haven't responded. What about <coughs> pool fees? Yeah. What about... And then that's not something that you have to output because you get an invoice for them regularly, right? Yep. yep. So why don't you got how many weeks left? Why don't you have but that money was <coughs> collected in all of the kids. That's okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, you, you just don't have to pay it out. Right. Right. Yeah. So you, you know, you can use it for something else that's gone over, over like t-shirts or whatever. So I mean, they've paid for it, but I mean, maybe that's what. We can get them to do. Or you could, I mean, you could ask them for the same, like, to, like, you know, we're always looking for somebody to sponsor our wildlife. But, you know, I don't know if they're interested in that or not. But yeah. yeah. Oh, but, but, I, but the thing is, I mean, we're, well, we're, what, four weeks still left or whatever, but it's going to be hard in the summertime. Are you talking about um, wildlife adventures in Rochester? Well, they're there's usually the, booked in the summer. There's that, then there's Seco Science Center, who, um, Comes to location. Comes to location. Oh, okay. yeah. And there's um, one out of Cape Native Green. Yeah, too. it's like York, right? York yeah. um, mm. So there's a wildlife refuge over there. So there's mm. three or four of them. It's just that some of them, they've probably been already booked. That's the only thing. I mean, maybe not, but <coughs> have a couple options and make, let them give them, yeah. you know. So um, pool, get the sponsor our pool days. Because they sponsored Jenny Thompson, right? Right. right. I mean, so they like, did last year. Yeah, wild, like, there was a sign um, there the whole summer. Yeah. And then the other thing we asked Optimal for was, like, getting together with the artists and the females. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The men, yes, artists. And the trick bike guy. Yeah. I still love the trick bike guy. But we, at yeah. this point, we, like, yeah, we probably wouldn't be able to get them anyway. Healthy, yeah. yeah. Just do something that would be healthy, kind mm. of, um, And healthy snacks would be good. So is that everybody's in agreement? Mm -hmm. We're asking for pool, wildlife shows. Are we doing no activities? Like um, visiting artists or no? Mm -hmm. You're not asking for all of that, are you? I mean, that's no. not overdue. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Three. I would go with three. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> you're going to have to give them a dollar amount so they know which ones, what, what the worth is. You so know. pool or wildlife shows or... Um, 
<laughs> I did talk to Seacoast Science Center at Odeon Point, and they said it was two hundred and twenty-five dollars mm -hmm. per tw group of twenty people. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at seven hundred and fifty dollars mm -hmm. or seven seventy-five to do all of the campers if we have sixty campers mm -hmm. in a week. Yeah, I have to say I heard rave reviews, rave reviews over Odeon Point. Way more crabs there than there are at Fort Fox. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a recommendation from another camp that we should visit Fort Foster. So their kids had look at them. I like Fort Foster. It was fun. Team Seems camp like got rave reviews of yesterday's trip. I saw so it. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. like kids um, loved it. Um, uh, Diana, Diana's bass. Oh, oh we saw the pictures. Yeah. Or we just I would just go with the pool. pool. Just go, just go, go with the pool, pool. and then yeah. you have money to buy healthy snacks. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean the budget. Yeah, they don't have to know that part. <laughs> but you know what I mean? So what they pick, contribute then yeah. oh, so something else. The rec is mm -hmm. one big you know, so yeah. what you if you need to get healthy snacks then they would have that release of money to be able to do that. I don't mean to overwhelm you either, but it'd probably be good to get that done sooner than later. Yeah. So if you don't have time, give it to one of us to do. I uh, will not be able to do it until next week because mm -hmm. I'm out of town um, this weekend. So if somebody has time to jump on it, but next week both of my kids are in camp from nine to noon. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I have. I'll pass it off. You're feeling free. It's you're managing that, so if you want to manage it out, then feel free to do it. Um. So what else? Um. We. I think that's everything you have on your list. But it was the old reel you wanted to. Okay, so I just put that on the table. Uh, I contacted three different pizza places this past week to make sure that they could fill us and do delivery. Um, Supa's in Dover had given me a good quote a couple of years ago, but they no longer do invoicing, so they were not a lot option. <coughs> um, oh, that left us with old rail and week six pizza. Um, old. Rail was willing to invoice us and wait for their payment, and Week Seeds Pizza um, said they would like to be paid ASAP, and they would not send their driver back to get their payment because they're already making a trip here to Wall Street, and that they are diverting their funds that come in through the restaurant to pay for our pizzas and delivery, so they need it as soon as possible, so they would appreciate it if we could cut them a check within 48 hours and have somebody from the committee or the staff drop it off to them. So That's, I, yeah, kind of I emailed both the chairs and the prices are about the same. It's $8 for every cheese and about $10 for every pepperoni. That includes delivery. So we went with Old Rail this week. I went to make sure that it was all set, that they had gotten their pizza and everything on Wednesday and the director told me that they had a couple of concerns mostly from staff that um, they were concerned where we weren't using Little Caesars because in the past they've been able to put five dollars in to the order and buy their own pizza and then the staff who goes and gets it gets their own pizza too. So she's bringing it up now because she's wondering if we should rethink this decision based on what staff wants, or do we just say we continue on with the old rail? But I think that's a group decision. Well, what so was it about Little Caesars? What was it about Little Caesars? Because it was cheap with staff. But, but why, what is it? So what was wrong with us? They don't deliver? They don't deliver. No, we have to send staff to go and get oh, it. That was the problem. Mm -hmm. But why can't they just place an order for a pizza and pay for it? Because it's too expensive? They can, but it's $3 more than what they usually pay. Too bad. But, but that's yes, delivery. And <laughs> so what I was told, <laughs> what some of the staff did was they called the family member. Can you go to old, I'm calling Little Caesars. Can you go pick it up and drop it off to me? Well, that's so fine. There we, you go. So, so are we okay go. as a group to go forward with old rail? Yes. 
Okay, so I think it has to be what that. is the easiest for mm -hmm. our staff and for Caroline. Yes. Exactly. So, yeah. and <laughs> that is the easiest. So they can, two of them could put four dollars each in and buy a big pizza. And have it delivered. <laughs> <laughs> it delivered okay. and oh my God, let me talk to this to you. So, um, <laughs> We are still making money, that's what I was going to say, on each pizza. Mm. Since we, our prices on the cheese pizza, we're making $4, and on the... Per, uh, per, per pizza? Per pizza. And on the pepperoni pizza, we're making monthly sales. It was, it was a couple of bucks more last year, but that's okay. I didn't know we were going to have to really make a profit on that anyway. So Absolutely. We did. Profit it's, needs to be profit. So we, we <laughs> so that was... Yeah. That was one of the th uh, things from last year is um, the pizza and the snacks that were sold, we were making money. some massive deposits. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know, I was looking at what Caroline printed me, and I'm hoping that she has a, a decent price for Friday, you know, because okay, I'm a little concerned about that. Okay. What can I say? I got would stick with old rail and I don't think South Berwick delivers before 4 o'clock. Yes, they do. South Berwick has to? Not before 4 o'clock. Oh, yes, they do. They deliver at 11. My son works it. Really? Really? Because mm -hmm. when I called, because I bought pizza for Mike's um, going away party. Somebody's they, in there at 11 to deliver. But when I asked about delivery, they said not until 4. Maybe it's during the week. No, he goes in at 11 on Sunday, and he goes in at 2 on Fridays, but somebody else is there before him. Mm. Well, the person I talked to, but they did get a 10% discount, <laughs> which well, I thought was really good, and then I thought about it, and then I said, well, well do you, you know, do delivery, but not to four. It was on, what day was it? It was on Monday night, so mm. I don't know. work on Monday, so... Yeah. Or maybe they just didn't have anybody at the time. Yeah. But if it was consistency, they might I know. they might what be I doing it. Ian, is they, you know, like we got them for the penny sale mm -hmm. um, one year. And she like the bank rumbled about it like the whole time. And um, like he said, every person that gets a slice of pizza you have to give them our coupon. And I said, Dean, I'll put the stack of coupons on the mm -hmm. table and they can pick them up. But um, I said, I tried to tell him that, you know, if you could talk to him and tell him that if he was willing to do this, this would be something he would have every week, every year. Yeah, and yeah. It, and we would put a sign up and say, it's their mm -hmm. pizza. Mm -hmm. So, but, and I've given them flyers before, are you willing to work with us? And they've never responded, the manager there. But, um, are we going to recognize old rail pizza? Because they're giving us a discount. No, no, they're charging. <coughs> they're giving us a discount, but they're they're getting the business too. I mean, when people are giving you something for free, is a whole different or a donation or something. And they're um, they're 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 they or is she telling you she doesn't want old rail in house? Or what she is, was looking what was for an now? explanation um, okay. regarding why it was not Little Caesars, and I even have text messages from her why that when I was going around asking the places why aren't we doing Little Caesars? Why can't I just go pick it up? And I tried to explain to her this was a group decision that we want it delivered, and we don't want the camp director yeah, going so off mm -hmm. site. There are other things here you need to deal with, and we might have to pay you for being off-site. Um, oh, by the way, they're local, fairly local. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but yeah, we, we had a problem with them last year about leaving and going and getting the pizza. Yes. So I mean, it's not this new and it's not new staff. It's just we have a problem with them leaving, the director leaving, yeah. to go get the pizza. So Especially it's either they don't they don't you have it this way, yeah. or you don't have pizza. <laughs> It's liability, yeah. period. Yeah, yeah. That's totally liability. So, liability. yeah, she, she was questioning why it's n not Little Caesars. Yeah, because they don't it's deliver. It's liability. Yeah, just <laughs> saying they don't deliver. They don't deliver, and it's... And we found somebody who's local who's working with us, and we're being able to... Yeah. So who wants to communicate? I can get that. That's fine. Did she send you an email? No, it was, uh, she, it was a text 
earlier this week when I was going back and forth with you, and then it was a question when I checked. I stopped in. Did you get the pizzas? Good. Goodbye. <laughs> Make sure Caroline gets your invoice. <laughs> I saw them come in. I loved how she served them. There was like, she had everybody in the gym, and there was counselors in the gym doors and counselors at the, in the teacher's room doors, and they would call on the walkie-talkie who, you know, they would name the kids that got to come get their pizza, so like three or four at a time, mm -hmm. and they would go get their pizza, you know, go in one door and out the other door, and then she'd call the next four, and it was very okay. organized and not... Nice. Um, Kelly, do you have camp cash? Do you do camp cash? I did do camp cash. Is your pizza being deducted from that? I have not done pizza yet, because I keep oh. forgetting that's pizza day. Okay. <laughs> but they can do it now, right? They can. Yeah, that's what I well, thought. Well, they should be, yeah. I know mine isn't being deducted, so I was going to find out if it was maybe just... I have I don't to sing it out, or... I have an online that should have been deducted the first week for mine. Do you know if it has? I don't know. How do you know if it has, or hasn't? You looked at your card? Good. Yeah, Chris looked at his card. Oh, okay. It was, um, like, the Friday after, and he said, Mom, let's look at it. I'm like, you shouldn't have that much on there. But is he paying for it? It's Camp Cash. It's being deducted by from Camp Cash. I know, so but, supposedly, if, yes. but if he didn't deduct from the camp cash on the card, then he should have been handing cash to them. But he didn't. He didn't. didn't. No. Did you have a choice? When you, when you, yeah. yeah, when you yeah. go up there, when, when you're being asked about pizza, you you do it by you know, handing money, or, money yeah, yeah. Or, or you indicate it's camp cash. But right. But then the camp cash needs to be reduced. Reduced. Yeah. And I'm not sure if that's actually happening, so I just want to reach out yeah, to you guys. I haven't, mm. We haven't done pizza. Can I? Okay. We need to have um, that make conversation. Make a quick motion. Uh, you guys are going to probably hate me. To go into a non-public session, because mm -hmm. I have information about that, that I don't want to ruin someone's reputation. Sure. Sure. Can okay. we uh, We need a motion and a second. And we'll call it going to the well, you made the motion, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I second. Mm -hmm. No, no she, she has yeah. to do a roll call. Uh, okay. You can go around with Kelly. Kelly, yes. Can you say yes? Baby. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, because he has to leave in the end. Well, uh, I'll drop that for you. I actually talked to um, Big Tree today. I ran into you and Maria out the door and I was like, hey, you're in the, you would be interested in hosting a small group for cooking. And he's like, what day? And I said, well, it would have to be Friday mornings. And he was just like, that's really not a good day. Because <laughs> they're busy time. It's like the weekend. So I was like, okay, well, just let it ask. So. You probably send them down the North Country website and see how they use They could do bread. <laughs> <laughs> they could go over to Santa Claus Pottery. They have a little class on pottery making. Where's that? Across the street on from Oak. Yeah. Oh. Well, you go to the bridge. transportation. Are you telling me that you're taking them? Because I know they do groups there, um, school groups. So yeah, I'm dropping off uh, homeless materials in the morning because the cooking class. We could do right if that's what they want to do. We'll just have to know what the idea is. Like a week's notice. There is an oven. I can't guarantee that it's working. No, it works. <laughs> but I'm not sure. If it's not going to. I don't. <laughs> it's a real oven? Yeah. Here. It's a house oven and it's oh, been there for I don't know how long. The one in the teacher's room? Yeah. yeah. Forever. You know, sign them up. It seems like we're running into a lot of these kids. Patty just texted me and said, there might only be three kids in teen camp. And I was like, what's going on? So, I don't know, Fridays seem to be kind of this low, um, she's like, oh, somebody's got this sport thing and somebody is having a sleepover. And so, it's long like, weekend. yeah, maybe, you know, so maybe, I don't know, these Fridays, maybe we want teen camp next year to be two days a week. I don't know. So or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or something. Yeah. yeah. And leave Monday and, and Fridays off. Yeah, maybe. Or uh, this team director has also had a couple of ideas that we might want to incorporate into next year, and we couldn't fit all of our activities in that we had done last year. Maybe fill them with activities instead of going to the pool with Camp Wally. Maybe do like uh, Water Country or the Ninja Force that's in the second half. The 
that course. just but that that adds expense. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all good until you know. I don't. You know, I I feel like that the hundred and ten dollars that it is a week is is you know, it's a lot for three days. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. So you know, to keep those. When you did Diana's bath, is that state park? That was like a no charge. It, yeah, was, it wasn't anything. So it was, it was just, it was a bus ride. Stuff. It was yeah. a bus ride. Yeah. So, um, you know, how we try to do the expense with Teen Camp is Monday, Wednesday, it's like one is basically a free thing, and then the yeah. second day is, is the yeah. expense thing. But it's, I mean, because every day is the transportation thing. Yeah. So that's all that. So that's how we can kind of keep the cost as it is. And Friday pool, as we piggyback on bus transportation, it's a $3 entry. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's only three kids going. She said tomorrow it's gonna be tomorrow, so it's a pretty small. Oh, so I got a text from J W, and she said she can bring it in her cert tomorrow. So she must have found it. Good. So she's. So good. two down. And we only have the one problem. Yep. Yep. Okay. She hasn't responded to me yet. Good. good. I can ask. So I'll put that in one of these notes. Alright. Hey. Hey. You guys still going strong? Yeah. No, no. We're going to try an hour meeting. Um, I don't know if everybody needs to listen. If we want more team, if I had a request for a team camper, how how are we proceeding with payment on that? This is a new person, so it's not an add-on. Oh, they do have an add-on, though, actually. So I have these extra registrations that B left with me. Just have them do them online. Is so it open? We can open it. We can open it and close it whenever we want. Okay. And so actually, if we knew when they wanted to do it, we could just open it for the afternoon. Because we don't want because we're just going to have to take it online. So, yeah. Right. So give them a, maybe a time window. Um, and then I would definitely give them a deadline mm -hmm. so that you know. Well, they sure. want to they wanna do a week. What did I just tell you? Five. So, I mean, there's like, you know, you need to have this done by. Should I just. Is it just um <laughs> is it just um is it just that one week? Yeah, that's all I want to do. It would I would still like try to pick a deadline mm -hmm. that is like two weeks prior if possible to well, then wait, from two weeks right now. So um, that's when I get out. They're in the third like it is like two weeks right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Like two weeks away right now. And um, all you need to do is send me a quick mail if I can open it. But it okay. helps with planning because you need to know for field trip counts oh, for sure absolutely. and stuff. Um, okay. So that was my only question. So I'll, I'll do, I'll, I'll tell her, you want to open it tomorrow? I'll tell her the, the registration, sure. we'll open registration for you tomorrow mm -hmm. and, um, it needs to be done. I'll see it come through and then I'll close it. Okay. Um, and then actually week, so week seven, um, this, this kid, who has been only, he was signed up for six weeks. He wants, his mom wants to do week seven. And um, they're the ones that are doing pre-care. So I'll have to ask her if they still need that. And I did tell her that there was a flat rate and she was fine with it. It's like, thanks for getting back to So, but she's already in the system, so she just has to go in and add one right. more so week. Right, so actually we have Celia will have, have to have open it up again. Yeah. Invoice, right? Yeah. So yeah. Will, will you... That I just him. put that on my and D is going to open and close yep. registration. I'll um, that anyway. Registrations um, for team campers to sign up as needed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, D, what, what should I tell her? She will have to the end of the day tomorrow to mm -hmm. do it? Yep. And you get notified when it's done, so then you know when to close it. Yeah, it goes into my email. Did the teen director get hold of you? She was trying to get on to Sports Engine and could not. And See, I could not get on to Sports Engine either. It kept telling me that there was an error when you gave me that piece of paper. So I gave her the piece of paper that you gave me. <laughs> and so I asked her to reach out to you. Sometimes Cause there's somebody I get it. at the same time. It will air out. Hmm. So if I'm on my computer looking at it, yeah. which I usually am, and she tries <laughs> to get in, 
yeah. when you try to get in yeah. with my credentials. It won't work. You only have to do it once for uh, one person. Yeah. You can't use the same the credentials. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's potentially one of the problems because uh, there was one or two things on the sports engine that I want to hand off to the team director. Okay. Like she can't email the team campers about what's coming on for the next week, so she sends me an email. Can you send this out via sports engine? Mm -hmm. And I copy and paste it into the team camp email and out it goes. But I'd rather her yeah. be doing Sometimes that. Sometimes I forget to close it out too. So that's a, that could be. I don't so. Um, Dee, can I just ask what time she can do that from when to when? Can I give her a window or? No, oh, just tell her. Just she, she has until the end of the day tomorrow. From tonight? Yeah, that's fine. Tonight too? Yeah, I'll go home and open it. Okay. Yeah. Can you imagine what's going to be when I try to sneak in a registration? So you're going to also talk to the older mm -hmm. kids for indoor scent and those that respond, you'll let us know the info. Mm -hmm. and she's going to talk to the two directors. Yes. Have them coordinate that. So actually, right now, it, with that added teen camper, there are now six in that week, so there would only be four slots if we're keeping it at ten. But we're also confirming with endorsing how many shelters Right after the ten. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if there's if available, so maybe... I've already gotten an email oh, going back and forth. Okay, so, okay. Why so why don't you let me know when you hear from him and then I'll get on that. Okay? Okay. All right. I need something when it finally gets um, confirmed for REF on the day and program that you're going to be doing so I can send them a check. Um, I thought we were meeting next Thursday. Okay. The 18th, and have it then. Um, they are looking for information from the director. Um, about um, the wetland house was looking for information. So um, I talked to the director and she said to um, let her get through this week and she said she'll deal with it next week. So hopefully by next Thursday we have it. And if you talk to them, if they can send me a hard invoice, um, they can just send, send it to email, my email. I'm all set. <laughs> That's it for us. Do we have anything else? Okay. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn.